Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. You know, as we discuss with each day passing, the hype, the reality, the anticipation of Seven Star Shards. As a reminder, I cannot say this enough on the channel. If you are looking to get Seven Star Shards, and some of you aren't, right? Some of you, many of you, have messaged me where you've spent all your six star shards on new featured six star crystals. You just wanted to start opening them. You wanted a chance for Galen. You wanted a chance for Wiccan. You wanted a chance for OG Scarlet Witch. You name it. Um, and, you know, if that's you, good luck. That's fine. But for those of you like me who are waiting, and I've got now over 300,000 six star shards worth of basic crystals that I will open between the shards and the already formed basics from the Deadpool event. Uh, between all those, we're trying to think of the future of the game. Now, the economy of the game will look very, very different when 7-star shards uh, turn into 7-star crystals. Now, that won't happen until the spring of 2023, but it's worth noting now because that is where we are. It's also worth noting that when you take the next champion to rank two, it changes the economy of the game. Back when six stars were announced and the first time we saw them, it was huge news because to take a five star to rank five, the, the most important thing you had to do, and I guess we should select somebody besides Dr. Do, let's do Spidey Gwen, why not? Um, it was two tier five basic, two. But that was really, really hard to do when six stars came out. Like a tier five basic, one tier five basic. It's hard to to remember this time because it's been years, but one tier five basic was easily worth a couple hundred bucks. In fact, the first time that tier five basic catalyst came out, it was $100 for 4,500 tier five basic catalyst fragments. A hundred bucks for 4,500, which meant that one tier five basic was a thousand dollars which meant taking a five star to rank five was $2,000. You don't believe me maybe, but there are videos, I reviewed the offers years ago. So if one tier five basic was $1,000 and two tier five basic was $2,000, imagine the shock when we saw that taking a six star to just rank two, let's, let's talk about me. Taking a six star to rank two, was $3,000, was one extra tier five basic. And so I did a video, and I still think it's a relevant video if I did it today, though I haven't done it, like I said, in a long time. I did a video over, is it better to take two five stars to rank five or one six star to rank two? Now, I believed in that video, unless it was your best champion that didn't need to be awake. Let's say you got a six star Corvus eventually. Uh, then, then, yeah. I think taking the six star to rank two made sense, but chances are it was a lot cheaper and actually better for you to take two five stars to rank five. And I still think, especially for growing some of our accounts, that that's the case. I stand by it. I'm saying all of this because as crazy as it is right now to think about what I need to take Hercules to rank five, in which we don't really have although I do expect maybe, just maybe, to get a little bit more of Tier 6 class Catalyst fragments, because the only way we've seen those so far is to fully explore Act 8.1 for the Selector, I suspect that taking a 7-star to rank 2 will look a whole lot in comparison, like the difference between taking a 5-star to rank 5 and a 6-star to rank 2. So... Because we are now officially starting to have the Tier 6 Cosmic or Tier 6 Tech, the Tier 6 Class Catalyst conversation. With that being the next evolution of resources in the game, I believe, as maybe many of you believe, that it is high time that we start to transition into, and it doesn't have to be a crazy number, into selling tier four class catalysts for tier five 
fragments. I believe that's where we are right now. And if you don't believe me that other people think that, we're going to darken the screen. Shout out to my man Brian Shadowstrike, who always sends forum posts to me to cover. Sometimes I cover them, sometimes I don't, but I appreciate it no matter what. So this week, on Halloween actually, we had Duke and Puke say, I understand why this wasn't a thing for a long time, but with the upcoming release of Seven Stars and the top ranks of Six Stars requiring Tier 6 Class Catalyst, isn't it about time for us to be able to sell Tier 4 Class Catalyst to return a few hundred Tier 5 Class Catalyst fragments? Now, Command Mike says this has been a topic of conversation a few times recently and for a while, and it's something we've raised with the game team recently. No details or decisions yet, but we've put it on the radar. So, I think that's encouraging, but I also think that Kabam is limited in how they want to dictate resources in the game. And whenever you allow the selling of resources, like Tier 4 uh, Class Catalysts, suddenly for Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragments, there are fears that they're devaluing Tier 5 Class Catalyst sales, and specifically... Um, even the daily special, which now for Thronebreakers and Paragon players, six out of seven days a week gives you 10% of a tier five class catalyst selector for five bucks, which is still insane for me to think about. Like even now I think about that value and it's just, it's like the best thing we've seen. So I will, I will say this tier four class catalysts. And I realize we won't need them. Chances are to take seven stars to rank two, but I still find that tier four class catalysts are really hard to get selectors of. It's rare and it's very easy to run out of this resource, particularly when you're taking them six stars, because from rank one to rank two and rank two to rank three, you need them. Rank three to rank four, you don't. But uh, they're they're underrated and undervalued. And in the catalyst store now, we'll blacken the screen one more time. In the catalyst store now, you can easily get Tier 5 Basic and Tier 2 Alpha for pennies on the dollar. You know what you can't get? That's right. Tier 4 Class Catalyst Selectors. You can get Tier 4 Class Catalysts all day long, but not Selectors. And that dang algorithm is still trained, is still literally minted, invented, you name it, to not give you the class you need. We have seen this since the days of taking 4 stars to rank 5. And I think Kabam knows it, and that's why they did what to them I'm sure is a very smart thing, but to players it's a frustrating thing, and that's that they refuse to make this a selector, because also that drives up the demand to buy the Cavalier Daily Special, which six days a week is the only place you can, you can consistently get a Tier 4 Class Catalyst selector. And that's worth the five bucks by itself. So, um, what do you think, YouTube? Is it time? What other resources would you like to see cheapened in price? Thanks for the forum post, everybody, and uh, thanks for watching.